And what's up, girls? Welcome to my channel. I'm the Obscurian Joe PT, and for today, what we have in here is the F1 2018, developed by the Codemasters, the same developers as Grid, Dirt, and pretty much the latest F1 games. They are using their latest Ego Engine 4, and I'm going to try out the game in the benchmark 2 in two different settings with the 720p resolution TAA checkerboarding, which helps out the performance and also ultra low settings everywhere. So I'm going to start to test the game in Australia with the clear day and as you can see the performance is, well, it's pretty much above 30 frames per second that is a drop here and there for some reason but it is pretty much above 30s with slightly drops to around 26, 27 so it's not ideal but it is playable. Although when we change to something like Monaco with heavy rain, a lot of rain and a lot of particles in me there because of the rain, the performance is a little bit different. You can expect a performance between 25 to 30 frames per second, sometimes 23, sometimes 34, so it's even worse, okay, I accept that it is playable, despite I think that F1 games should be playable at 60 frames per second. The good thing is that for some reason I find that 30 frames per second on this game it is really acceptable okay so it's not really that bad but in those heavy rain tracks having performance around 25 it's well it's not really great okay so one of the things that I'm not sure is that if you can play this game with 4 gigabytes of RAM I'm saying this because the game is using to me around 5 gigabytes of RAM but I believe that if you have only 4 gigabytes of RAM you might be able to, to play the game, probably with an extra stuntering or two, but should be fine. And I guess that's it. Hope you keep enjoying the rest of the video. I told you this was really quick. What you're going to see in the rest of the video will be the rest of this track, this Australia track. And then you will see um, a benchmark in Monaco with every rain. And the, the interesting fact is that even with the ultra low settings, the game has shadows and also it has reflections quite impressive in my opinion okay so guys that's it hope you keep enjoying the rest of the video that we hope to see you soon goodbye